Magandang araw, mga bata. Kumusta? Ako muli ito, si Kuya Red. At may bagong kwento na naman ako para sa inyo. Alam ko na tayong lahat ay gustong gusto maligo sa dagat. Pero sana, alam din natin ito kung paano alagaan. Dahil meron din mga nakatira dito. Tulad ng mga isda. Sana, ang ating mga basura ay hindi natin itatapon dito. Dahil ito ay makasisira sa kanilang tahanan. Ang kwento natin ngayon ay tungkol sa tahanan ng mga isda na nagkakaroon ng problema. Masolusyonan kaya nila ito? Samahan niyo ako tapusin ang buong istorya. Ang pamagat nito, The Great Council of Fish. Mula sa... Let's read out. Tara na, mamati na, ikaw nga na po patihira. Pamati kita at istorya, sangit tayo na kabaraka. A story time, enjoy good kita. Once upon a time, the sea creatures had trouble finding food. Their longtime friends, the humans, were not helping. They were taking more from the seas than agreed to. Life in the sea was not the same. The great council of fish had to meet. This was no small matter. The tiny plankton were not friends with the zooplankton. Zooplankton feared the fish. The corals were crabby about the parrot fish breaking them. Other fish were upset about how violent the sharks had become. They all complained about humans. All the council members arrived on time, except for the seahorses, of course. They needed the dolphins to bring them over. The meeting started and everyone discussed what could be done. They all wanted every fish to be well fed again. Let me sing to awaken the winds, suggested the whale. Why not learn how to regrow our body parts, screeched the lobster. Hang on, I can do you all a favor, bragged the octopus. Again. But these ideas would not solve their problem. Finally, old Mrs. Jiggly, the jellyfish, spoke from the back. She was the longest serving member of the council. She was as wise as she was old. She always seemed to have an answer to their biggest problems. Everyone listened politely to her shaky voice. My distant cousins once faced a similar problem, she said. They solved it by getting the fish together. They made the fish all swim in a special up and down circle that made the cold water at the bottom swirl up to the top. This upwelling carried the goodies the fish most enjoyed. So all the fish got together according to their size. The smaller fish started swimming from top to bottom and back to the top again. Bigger fish pushed the warm water deeper into the sea. Everyone helped. The plankton pushed. The zooplankton pushed. The dolphin pushed too. By sunset, Everyone was tired from all the pushing. The sleepy seahorse couldn't stay awake. The poor parrot fish couldn't move a fin. And the whale couldn't even twitch. A few days later, the fish noticed a change. The seaweed had started growing. The food was slowly returning. The fish had started eating better. The sea was happy again. At the party afterwards, 
Mrs. Jiggly spoke again. My friends, say we can achieve anything if we all work together. Diyan nagtatapos ang ating kwento. The Great Council of Fish. Mga bata, alam natin na ang karagatan ay isa sa mga pinagkukunan natin ng pagkain. Sana ay alagaan natin ito ng mabuti. Kung nakikinig kayo sa ating kwento, sinabi ni Mrs. Jiggly sa huli, makakamit natin ang kahit ano kung tayo ay magtulong-tulong. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Magkita-kita muli tayo sa susunod na linggo. Paalam!